Why was Grounding by Clinton Ober an impactful book for you? Oh, yeah. Um, so I've got this autoimmune disease, and I get really inflamed, especially in my ankles and joints. And I developed it about uh, five years ago. And I would, I would wake up in the morning with just intense pain. And then I realized that, um, well, I've tried a bunch of different things. And I heard about this guy, Clint Ober, who wrote a book called Earthing, and um, earthing.com is his website. And very rarely do I recommend anything, but I've, I, I, I've received so much relief, and I've, I, I got to a point where I just bought grounding. I, in fact, I've got a grounding pad here right at my desk right now, so you can see this little oh, wow. guy here. Um, I'm, I'm always grounded. I'm grounded 90% of the day now, so grounding... Is something that's well. Here's something really fascinating. So, um, around 1960, we invented rubber sole shoes, and it's a beautiful thing. I had to have rubber sole shoes to be able to walk and run in them. I know I, I use them regularly, but the problem is we inadvertently disconnected ourselves from the earth, and so the earth has a negative charge that helps keep us in homeostasis, and without that negative charge, quite often we become inflamed. And so inadvertently, we have disconnected ourselves from the earth. And in that disconnection, we have created a lot of autoimmune conditions. And I'm not saying that that is the primary source of all autoimmune conditions. But I will tell you this, that a lot of people I know who have some sort of inflammation or autoimmunity have benefited greatly from grounding regularly. The best part about grounding is it's free. You can just go out into your backyard or a public park and stand barefoot for 15, 20, 30 minutes and, and uh, experience the benefits of grounding. I, although I'm doing it, like I said, 90 plus percent of the day. I even sleep on a grounding mat at night, which is... Um, Really helpful, but not just for me. My wife is a paragon of health. She's a, a dietitian and a nutritionist and uh, probably the healthiest person I know, super fit. But even she benefited from sleeping on a grounding mat. And I, she tracks her sleep like I do with a little aura ring here. And and her sleep radically improved. And then so when I, once I saw that, I, all of our employees, I started finding ways to get them grounding pads and, and sleep when they're grounded. And in our studio now, we have uh, grounding mats on the floor and our chairs because I recognize the benefits. And I haven't seen everyone experience a great benefit from it, but more people than I would have expected. Yeah, plus 80 plus percent of people who I see are exposed to grounding see some sort of profound shift either in their sleep any pain that they have, their recovery when uh, they work out. It's just an amazing thing. So uh, I'm no expert on grounding, but earthing.com, Clint is amazing. And his story is just, it's incredible. He was almost dead. And um, that, that happens quite a bit. You, you see a lot of people who are on death's door and they start grounding and all of a sudden, they, um, they begin to experience a, a type of cure or a significant amount of relief at least. So... Let me just get this right. You say you do it 90% of your day, so that means you're outside 90% of your day? Or you, the mat simulates? How does that work exactly? Great question. So uh, earthing or grounding, this mat like I have right here on my desk, I just keep it under my mouse pad so my hands on it all the time. Mm -hmm. So your, all the outlets in your home are grounded, right? Um, and so you can plug it directly into a, a, a grounded outlet, which literally goes from a wire out to your yard or wherever, and there's just a copper stake in the ground that keeps it grounded and it passes it through to a mat. So yes, I will spend quite a bit of time outside walking barefoot. And um, you know, what's funny about Clint is like, I've heard about grounding before him, but he's seemed like a normal guy. And uh, before that, whenever I saw people just walking around barefoot, I was like, oh, you know, it was just judgmental. I mean, look at these hippies. They don't know what they're doing. Like, but then as soon as Clint started showing the the science behind grounding then my ego allowed me to accept the fact that oh okay this is scientifically proven okay now i'm allowed to be healed by it it's absurd i know but uh, i i felt like i needed that scientific verification in order to uh, to accept it and so yeah I, I do spend quite a bit of time outside walking around barefoot we've got a nice 
you know, concrete patio in our backyard, which also is grounded. You know, any concrete is is grounded, or just walking around in the grass is grounded. I got a great nature preserve up here in Ventura County that we walk through, and I'll just walk through barefoot. And my my daughter spends. 90% of her time walking barefoot as well. We we unschool her. And so she just gets to spend all the time she wants outside. She almost never wears shoes. And, um, you know, it's uh, the grounding mats are a great supplement for that. Yes, it does exactly the same thing as being out on the earth and, and grounded. But you can't do that always when you're inside. If you want to sit down on the couch and read a book, then, yeah, I'll just have a grounding mat there. And so I'm grounded the whole time. <laughs> 